What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video, we're going to talk about a question I've been getting so many messages about. The concept of what is high yield information, what do I need to know for exams, and you know how much more detail or in-depth knowledge do I need to know. Now I've been getting a lot of questions. Hey, for medicine, should I be reading Harrison's medicine book? Should I be reading Step Up to Medicine? Should I be reading case files or blueprints? What should I be reading? Um, or for pathology, should I be reading Big Robins, Little Robins, Pathoma, Golion, Lecturio, Kaplan? What should I be doing? Um, the, the list is endless, the things I get. And I hate to, I mean, I try to reply to as many people, but the core concept is kind of the same. The fact that people are asking it kind of tells me, you know, we need to make this video to explain the difference between high yield information, in-depth knowledge, and how you need to look at it to say, what do I want out of myself? What do I want to know? And thus then, what books or resources am I going to use? So. I'm going to give an example, I'm going to run you through some anecdotal evidence and what I've seen other people do that led them to be really successful because I want you guys to be successful. I mean, you're taking the time to watch this video, you might as well get something out of it and hopefully this helps. So I've, I mean, I got very lucky in med school. I had really smart friends who did extremely well on med school exam, board exams, you know, junior AOA kids, very smart crowd. So I was, I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, as brilliant as them, obviously, but like, you know, they taught me a lot, very smart kids, great to surround yourself with people who are performing at a very high level. So I'm gonna incorporate a lot of what, of what I learned from them as well. So very first concept, what's high yield? Now this concept, I mean, this is like a buzzword in medical school, hey, is this high yield? Is that book high yield? Is this information high yield? Um, you know, people are gonna be giving you lectures and they're gonna be telling you, hey, this is high yield. Um, you know, upperclassmen are gonna be telling you this is high yield, what does that mean? All it means is it's really important information that's either commonly tested or very relevant to you. So you should definitely know it. So whenever you hear the word high yield, just think about it as that's something I should probably know or I should definitely know it. Now that concept applies to people, you know, pre-med world, taking exams, taking the MCAT, med school world, um, taking med school exams, taking boards, um, and even people, you know, who are getting their licensing exams after residency, there's high yield information there as well. So when you see the word high yield, just think about it as stuff I gotta know, basic core important principles that I should know as a person. Then the question becomes, okay, what's in-depth knowledge? In-depth knowledge is the effort you take to learn the details and the why and the background behind the high yield facts and knowledge base. And that's really what separates people out. People who go into the MCAT, who go into boards, who go into med school, just knowing high yield alone, do okay. You know, that's the whole reason why we have high yield concepts. It's that it just tells you enough to get you passing, to get you through the door, to get you to your end goal of being a doctor or whatever you're trying to do. It just, you know, P equals MD as we used to say. You pass, you become a doctor. And that's what high yield information is. It tells you enough to get you to pass all the exams, get you licensed, get you practicing, that's high yield. Now, why would you want to learn in-depth knowledge? Well, if you're okay with just doing all right, passing, you know, becoming, you know, knowing a good amount of stuff and not everything. And, you know, if that's okay with you, great. That's the self insight that you need to answer the big question of this video. What resources and how much should I be studying? Number one, what do you want? Do you want to know a lot? Do you want to be excelling, performing, acing exams, killing the boards, or do you just want to do okay and get on with life? There is no right answer. Don't feel guilty if you're like, oh, I don't want to work that hard, or I don't, that's fine, you don't have to. There are, I'll tell you, there are plenty of people in medical school and beyond and before who don't want to work that hard, who just kind of want to get through. Hey, no one's here to judge you, do whatever you want in life, you know, it's your life, be happy. So if that's you, stick with the high yield resources, and there you go. But what if you're like, you know what though, I want to know more. I want to ace my exams. I want to kill the boards. Um, I want to do really well. I want to be AOA. I want to get into whatever residency or fellowship I want. I want things exactly my way. Well, if you want, you know, essentially more control, um, excelling at things, you're going to have to go beyond the high yield info. And this is where in-depth knowledge comes in. 
And this is where a lot of the, the skills and the tools I learned from my group of really smart friends who figured this out very early in med school and taught it to me and I was lucky to, you know, apply it myself and do well. Um, so I do attribute a lot of my success to having good fellow mentors teaching me. Um, and what they taught is, okay, so say, we'll use like pathology as an example. Common, you know, almost like the most important course in the first, in the second year of med school in the basic sciences and probably one of the most common things I get messaged for. A lot of people, including myself, use Pathoma. That's fine. Pathoma is a good high yield source. All right, it's a good intro, it's high yield, it covers the stuff you need to know, you'll pass your boards, you'll pass the path, you'll, you'll, take, you'll do well on the shelf, whatever. Pathoma gets you through the door and going. But my friends who did really well in path, who killed the boards, um, the same principle they taught me for every class, but I'm just using pathology here as the example, they went beyond just using that high yield resource twofold. The next thing they did is they used an in-depth resource. So for PATH, they're using Goleon Rapid Review, that thick big book, Lecturio videos, um, you know, to kind of go along with the book, to have more in-depth knowledge base. Because Pathoma sure gives you videos, but gives you kind of a really tiny thin book with just kind of bullet points, which is fine if you want that intro level high yield knowledge. But take it to the next level if you really want to shine, and then you can have in-depth knowledge training. And you know, it's easy. So like for PATH, you know, go from skinny pathoma in video to like big rapid uh, review Goleon, like gold standard really, and like high, like very like in-depth uh, Lecturio PATH videos that go with, and now you have a much more in-depth knowledge base. And then there's a third level now that really smart kids are doing, and that's like big blue robins, or you know, the big blue book uh, for pathology. Um, should you read robins? It's really hard. You can if you want. But the concept is this. If you want to do really well, do your pathoma, learn the high yield info, go to Goleon Lecturio, learn that detailed info, and then reference things like Big Robins for stuff you want more detail or background on. Big Robins is a lot to learn, the reality being true. Very few people can learn all of Big Robins or even most of it. So using PATH as an example, it's kind of like a tiered approach. High yield, in-depth, ultimate reference text. Um, so just get yourself to level two and hit the reference text as you need to know in-depth knowledge. And the reason is, and this is what my friends taught me, yeah, everyone knows the high yield info. And the people who know the in-depth material are functioning at a higher level. Because if you look at your experience working with you know, students who are doing really well, or if you're on the wards and you get to see senior level residents and attendings and the knowledge base they have, a lot of what makes them special is obviously one, they have a lot more experience, so that's key. But second, they have more in-depth knowledge. They know, you know, they obviously they know the high yield, they know a lot of the detail, and now they're hitting more reference book level material. And that's what separates them out. That's what makes them special. So think about the board exams. You know, boards know. Everyone knows the high old info. We're all using them. You know, everyone's using the same resources. They're aware. And so knowing high old info is going to get you a passing score. You'll do okay. But the kids that know the in-depth knowledge, and in particular the kids who are hitting the reference books as well for a deeper knowledge on certain topics, those are the kids who are going to have more in-depth knowledge to answer the harder questions on board exams, on shelf exams, even medical school exams that are going to differentiate themselves out. Because as the questions go harder and harder and the board exam is weighing them, the more questions you get right, it's because you knew more of the detailed material that other kids didn't, so your score is going to be more you know, elevated and differentiated versus the masses who just kind of know the high yield and some of the detail. So that's the concept I want you guys to understand. Yeah, for when you guys ask me, hey, you know, should I be using this resource? Should I be reading Harrison's for medicine or Step Up to Medicine, BRS Histo? What should I be using for like psych? Ask yourself first. How much do you want to know, right? Like, do, I, do you want to know just the basics of the high yield? Do you want to move into the in-depth? Or do you want to even be hitting some reference text? That's what you have to at first ask yourself. And whatever you want to know, or whatever your heart tells you, you want to know knowledge base, that's fine. No one's here to judge you. Um, you know, it's your life. Learn what you want and do what you want with your career. Don't worry about anyone else. But that's where you first got to ask yourself, do I really want to know a lot? Do I really want to get into in-depth knowledge? Do I really want to differentiate myself? If so, then I'm going to move into the higher level text and more detailed knowledge. Um, I hope this answers a lot of questions. Uh, if you want to message me, you know, more than you guys can always message me. I try to reply the best I can. 
YouTube, on Facebook, and you ask me questions like, hey, what resources do you like, or this or that, let me know first, how much do you want to know? Do you just want to go level one high yield, level two in depth, or level three even hitting reference text? Just let me know that when you message me, and then we can talk from there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We talked about the absolute critical role of knowing high yield info and the importance of knowing in-depth information and differentiating yourself out and then how that applies to getting different resources and before med school, during and after and really setting yourself up for success. Uh, leave comments or questions down below. Put them also on the Facebook page. We have a community where we talk. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, enjoy your studies.